So today we are talking about interviews and facilitation. So first thing about interviews, and you may have seen this in the example and the template, um, but there's a general structure to conducting these quote unquote semi-structured interviews. So starting with an introduction, um, just describing what you're there to do, what your goals are, what you're interested in learning, confirming the time limit, and just really being um, warming people up to build that rapport so that they are comfortable speaking with you moving forward in the interview. Uh, to that point, starting with some really broad background questions, really warm up experiential questions. So nothing that's tough, you know, tell me about yourself. What do you do? What's your day-to-day -day like? So some really broad, just having them speak, but also um, can give you some information about their experience and, you know, about themselves. And then uh, jumping into more topic specific, more narrow questions, again, still keeping these open ended, but really serving uh, to answer your research goals, get at your assumptions and hypotheses, um, and serves as a guide to what needs to be covered. Because one thing that's going to happen in all conversations is you will go off script. There is never a day <laughs> when you're going to stick to this structure. Things are going to go all over the place, but having your questions and topics spelled out um, and serving as a guide to uh, for you to know what you need to cover and have answered by the end of the conversation is nice. And then some wrap up questions. So this is always a nice place to just give them the floor. Like, are, is there anything else you wanna share with me? Um, I have this quote unquote dream world question. It kind of depends on the context, but if you're thinking about, uh, you know, asking them about improving a process, you might ask in a dream world with no, um, constraints or restrictions or anything, how would you do X? And you might hear some really interesting um, responses there. So it's a great kind of like way to close up the conversation. And then obviously at the very end of the interview, thanking the participant, and then if there are any follow-ups or incentives um, discussing that. And it is also nice to share what is um, what you're planning to do with this information. So if you're doing some interviews now and your next step is to you know, think about redesigning a system, letting them know that so that they don't think that they're just, you know, telling information um, for no reason that you're actually planning to do things with that. And then taking it a step further, if there's a way that you can share back what you've learned, that's also great. And again, sometimes that's not possible, um, but if there's like a summary or a post that you can share out, um, something like that is also really nice to let your participants know that they've been heard. So when you're writing these interview questions, um, make sure that they tie back to your research goals to ensure the best use of your time. I don't know if anyone experienced this, but when you start writing questions, you start writing lots of questions. Like you wanna ask them so many different things. Um, just make sure that the ones that you are asking in the, in the session um, tie back to your research goals. And uh, again, make sure that you're using the best time. So there are going to be times you're going to need to skip questions, jump around in your um, in your interview guide, just in order to cover the things that are most important uh, to learn. So questions should be open-ended, semi-structured. Uh, this allows for participants to interpret and answer the questions uh, in whatever way makes sense to them. It's actually really interesting. I've asked questions, and they may have taken it a different way than I intended and answered in a specific way that led down a whole different train of thought that I learned so much from. So being really open, that's a note uh, in these sessions that you're there to learn. There's no agenda. Um, you know, let them say what they need to say uh, as long as you are, you know, getting insights into the goals that you had for the session. Be personalized and conversational to assure participants um, that you're listening. Neutral and unbiased, again, don't write any leading questions. Um, don't insert any of your own assumptions. Um, and yeah, that last point is to prevent confirmation bias because if you ask, people are agreeable. So if you ask things like, this would be really helpful for you, right? They may say yes, when they don't actually mean that. So making sure your questions are neutral and biased and not leading. <laughs> 